Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. It is Tuesday, September 15th. I can't believe we're in the middle of September. It is flipping cold out. It was two degrees this morning when we walked the dogs. So uh, pretty much I had a toque on and some gloves on. I kid you not, um, it is cold in the morning and overnight we had to turn the furnace on for the first time yesterday. Yay! No. Um, but what are you going to do? Fall's coming. So we got a lot going on. Uh, I released the second vlog video for the construction that's happening uh, here at the house, the renovation. So uh, if you didn't catch it, um, take a look and I will continue to show you guys progress on that. Um, walls are coming down. Um, so this week, after this weekend, they are going to tear down the exterior wall um, into the kitchen. So I'm losing my dishwasher, which I don't care about, but we're also losing the kitchen sink. So I'm not quite sure how we're going to function um, for a while. Probably just eat off paper plates and paper cups and I don't even know what. Maybe head on over to my in-laws who are down the road for a little bit. I, I don't know. Um, I'm stressed to hear. I'm tired. Um, Echo is giving us a lot of trouble. As cute as he is, I want to wring his little neck. Um, but he's a puppy. What are you going to do? Um, you know, he wakes up at night sometimes, he's up at 6 a.m. every day, howling and crying, which then gets Juno howling with him, and they just sing this lovely tune at 6 a.m. in the morning, so I'm tired. Um, I don't, you know, I have people commenting saying, hey, you look tired. Yes, I know, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. I'm trying to get things finished. Luckily, I still get to stay in the basement. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> Anywho, I wanted to show you guys the uh, dried piece um, of the black, white, and black. Um, it still needs a coat of crystal resin, So, um, but I did want to show you guys it dried beautifully. And for those of you who pointed out um, this piece here, that was like a perfect square and it bothered a lot of people. I didn't notice it at first and then when I saw it, I'm like, oh my god, that bothers me too. So I came back down and I just kind of blew it out with my mouth and uh, fixed that composition there a bit. But uh, it is dry and it's going, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to get uh, a coat of crystal resin. And don't forget for those of you who don't know, I now have a uh, discount code for crystal resin. For those of you who are interested in purchasing resin, to uh, they ship to Canada worldwide for free and to the US it's a flat rate shipping and you can save 5% using code CANELA5. Um, the resin's already on sale on the website as it is, so then you're all also saving an extra 5%. <clears throat> so get it while you can. And um, if you purchase it and you wanna know how to use it, check out my video number 227. I will link it up at the top. It's a full tutorial on how I use resin and how I top coat my pieces. So yesterday I did a bunch of top coating. Um, the rainbow diptych with the black and white, got a coat of resin on it. It's still a little wet, so I'm not gonna touch it, but I'll show that to you guys in the next video. Um, so I showed you guys that black and white one, and that's available for purchase if anyone is interested in that 12 by 36 inch canvas, that's available. And then, don't forget, I still have, which still also need a coat of resin, um, these pieces, this diptych, um, do I have it right? It's probably upside down, but yes, it's upside down. It's supposed to go this way. Oh, and of course, Echo's chewing on the bone on the floor upstairs, so I really hope you can't hear that. You can probably hear that. So, anywho, um, this still needs, it's probably this way. Oh, I'm a mess. Yes, it goes that way. Okay. Oh. There we go. So there you have it. This piece is um, still available for anyone who's interested in this. And this also needs to get a top coat of crystal resin as well. 
So if anyone is interested in this, they're 10 by 20 inch, both of them. And uh, you can let me know and you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com if you are interested in either of those pieces. Um, so today I'm going to be doing another split color and I wanted to show you guys um, a client or a viewer, sorry, of mine um, had some golden paints um, that she wasn't using and she actually sent them my way. So this one's called Titan Mars Pale. And so this is going to be the color split I'm using today. And I've never really used um, a color like this before. And it's such a pretty like peachy kind of color. I'm going to try and show you here. Um, but it should be interesting. And of course I went on to Pinterest and I did a search on um, peach color palettes. And I came up with some really nice color palettes and it was super duper hard to choose which colors I was going to use. So I'll do one color today. And then if you guys like the second palette, maybe you guys can vote in the comments below and let me know if you guys want to see the other color palette. So let me get started. Um, and I think that's it I wanted to say. Don't Oh, don't forget. Um, calendars are still available, 2021 calendars. I have a few left, but I will be ordering more. So if uh, you are interested in a calendar, um, you can order one. Just email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com and you can order a calendar. Um, and that's it. Okay, let's get started to the painting and uh, I'll show you guys what I'm up to. Be right back. I'm gonna have to do this because my button's not working. All right, guys, so I'm back. And what we have here is a 15 by 30 inch canvas. And so I had a few ideas for a color palette with this. So I'm not sure if you can see that really well, but one of them was, um, obviously this is the base, which is the called the Titan Mars Pale by Golden. And then it was all purples. So what I have here is, um, Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. And then I have a Light Blue Violet by Liquitex Basics. 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art for the contrasting color. And then a Brilliant Purple by Liquitex Basics. So that's the colors I'm doing today. Um, but I had a real tough choice trying to figure out um, or trying to decide between that or doing this as the base again. And then I saw this color palette on Pinterest and it's just gorgeous. So I was going to do this, which um, again, I had another container. This one was also sent to me by a viewer. This one's called Red Oxide, which is this bottle here. So that's Red Oxide. So it would be the base color of this with Red Oxide and Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft and then copper, and then the 24 karat gold. So um, let me know what you guys think of this color palette with this as a color split. So if you wanna see this in the next video, um, let me know in the comments below and if you think that would look good. I kinda think these are a little similar, but they're, they are, but they aren't, as you can see. So um, unless I swap it up, no, that definitely doesn't look good, but I have antique copper, but then, no, I think I like the copper or, or I just saw it right now. I had it here or I could use brown, which I don't have in a bottle yet, um, but maybe a brown in there. This is burnt umber, burnt umber. So maybe I can substitute it for one of those. But anywho, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Actually, I need this. I need that and I need this. <laughs> These ones can go back. So <clears throat> let me know what you guys think and if you'd like to see that color palette um, in the next video, because I think that would be pretty cool as well. Okay, so moving along, I'm gonna try and do this as quick as possible. Uh, I can hear the dogs going crazy upstairs and it's really bothering me um, because the kids are at school and there's no one around to watch them anymore while I do videos. So I might have to um, rethink my video time and instead of recording 
um, during the morning. I'm gonna have to start recording at night um, while hubby is actually not working because right now he's upstairs in his office working and he's on a video conference call. So, you know, I don't have anyone to watch the dogs upstairs and they're going crazy. And if you can hear them, I truly apologize for that, but there's nothing I can do about that right now. So it is what it is. This uh, peachy color is actually very pretty. I'm very, very excited to see how this is gonna turn out because uh, it's a really pretty color. All right, so usually I do this off camera, but I thought I'd show you guys again how I do this portion of the painting and maybe just talk a little bit. Um, I don't know about what, but to all of you who have uh, donated to my PayPal uh, link, thank you so much for your PayPal donations. Um, if anyone else would like to donate, you can do so using the PayPal link below in the description box. Listen, can you hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but they are going nuts. You'd think they would want to just sleep a little bit because they've been awake since this morning when I we took them for their walks. So, I don't know. These, uh, oh, the floors, the floors, the floors. There go my hardwood floors. You must be able to hear that. They're going crazy up there. Uh, I dropped some color on my white part here. Um, so as I said, it's September 15th and this month is riddled with birthdays in my family. So September 2nd is my brother's birthday. September 6th is my niece's birthday. Uh, September um, 17th is my father-in-law's birthday. Uh, September 20th is my birthday. So that is coming up uh, this Sunday, I believe, my birthday. Uh, September 20th. Um, my sister-in-law is September 26th. We are both born the same year. She's just born six days after me. And then Lucas is September 27th. So his birthday is the day after my sister-in-law's birthday. And my wedding anniversary was September 12th, just the other day. Uh, 11 years and I still haven't killed him. <laughs> Oh man, 11 years ago on September 12th, we got married. So uh, lots happening in the month of September for my family. It's uh, crazy busy. And then of course, Sophia's birthday um, is October 6th. <laughs> you know, I had to really think about that for a second. And you know what? I don't remember days and birthdays and you would think that, oh, it's your kid's birthday, you should remember. And you know what? I just got mixed up because I said my niece's birthday was September 6th. Sophia's birthday is October 3rd. I'm such a nut. But my brain's also not functioning very well. Um, but yeah, her birthday is on um, October 3rd. Hold on a sec. I got a, my camera on my other phone just uh, kind of did something funny there. So I'm just going to get that recording so we don't have a problem there just in case. So yeah, Sophia's birthday is October 3rd. So three days sooner and she would have been a September baby too. Crazy, eh? Just so much going on in September. But that will be done and over with soon because I can't believe it is already the middle of September. It's crazy. Before you know it, we're going to be doing Halloween stuff. <laughs> I, all the stores have Halloween stuff already. Costco's got Halloween stuff already. They've got winter jackets and winter suits out already. It is crazy how much um, everything is changing so quickly. Where's my spatula? There it is. I am just a little all over the place today, so I apologize. I'm having a rough go. Uh, as I said, construction is in full swing uh, tomorrow. Actually, Nick is outside right now and he is taking away that mound of dirt 
in the backyard. Um, and tomorrow we have a big bin coming. That'll be for garbage and a porter potty for the workers. Oh God, these dogs, I'm gonna kill them. Listen to that, can you believe that? You would think these dogs would just lay down and go to sleep. I wonder if you can actually hear that. You must be able to hear that. I can hear it loud and clear on that floor. Their nails just going crazy. Okay, I'm pretty much ready. The rest I'm gonna fix up um, after the fact because I like to fix the edges after. Um, make sure that they're all covered and um, no lumps and bumps there because you guys all know how important the sides are in my pieces. The sides in the back, guys, are just as important as the top, okay? I tape the bottom of my canvases with the green painter's tape. Make sure it's nice and clean. So, gosh, everything is in the wrong spot today. I was doing resin yesterday, so I didn't clearly didn't clean up. Okay, popping the bubbles. Man, this peachy color is beautiful. What a beautiful color. All right, popping the bubbles real quick. So yeah, as I was saying, um, garbage bin is coming tomorrow and big massive truck with lumber is being dropped off Thursday morning and the framing begins. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun and very interesting to see everything finally going up, up and up. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's start with the uh, Brilliant Purple by Liquitex Basics. And when this is done, this could obviously be hung vertically or horizontally, whichever way the buyer prefers. So, I think these purples are going to look really pretty, though. Oh, the gold is so nice. Okay, let's see. Light blue violet. I, I contemplated adding a blue in there, but I thought, you know what? No, I'm just going to keep it all purples. Um, Let's see. I don't think I want to add silver in there. I think I'm going to keep it like this. I just hope that's enough color. A little fluffster in there. All right, let's uh, torch the bubbles on the colored paint real quick. And I really hope I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm not concentrating too well here because my mind is on those silly dogs upstairs. I'm gonna really just have to keep these dogs or do my videos in the evenings now. I don't know if I can continue this with them going crazy. I don't know what he's doing up there. So, okay, let's uh, blow this out. Sorry, I see some air bubbles. Gotta pop those. Cause then they're gonna pop after and they're gonna show up in your paint. Believe me, you want to pop those now. Okay, let's see what we come up with. The color combination is stunning, but um, my paint was thick. So keep in mind, um, golden paints 
are super duper thick, more highly pigmented, very expensive paint. Um, and I did actually um, lessen the paint ratio amount a little bit, but still I think it was a little too thick. However, the colors are so pretty. Um, oh wow, such beautiful colors. Get that little blob out of there. So I want to kind of blow a little bit over here because the paint was super duper hard to move over here. So I'm just going to try and fix the composition a little bit here. So when I was blowing over here with the hair dryer, um, it was hard to blow because it was thick. When that happens, don't use your hair dryer and keep blowing, 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 trying to get it to move. You know what? Move on from it. Let it be because you can blow it with a straw or blow it with an airbrush tool if you have one. I know Tammy Anderson uses one and she swears by it. Um, she loves that thing. Check her out. Um, actually check out her channel. She's awesome. Tammy Anderson. She's a very good friend of mine, but she has, um, one of those airbrush tools and she uses that instead of blowing with her mouth. Um, so check that out and you can use that. So now I just blew that with my mouth and now there's a bunch of little cells in there, which is beautiful. So, um, let me see where else to, this color, this, um, light blue violet slash periwinkle, whatever you want to call it. Um, is such a beautiful color. And when I bring you guys down for a close-up, you're going to see why. Um, but I love this color. It's so soft. My last couple of pieces were rich, dark, vibrant. Um, but these colors are soft. And it's such a change. Such a different um, color palette. It's so, so pretty. I'm very, very happy with this piece. Um, so if this is how pretty this looks, um, these colors, um, I'm definitely going to give it a go with those other colors. But I want to know in the comments below what you guys think. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. And I am going to bring you guys down for a close-up so you can see what this all looks like. Be right back. All right, guys. So um, here is the results with the studio lights on. And I am so pleased with this piece. And I'm so loving this like peachy, peachy color. I uh, never thought I would, um, but I like it so much that I'm probably going to do more of these. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, and let me know if you guys like it and if you guys want to see that color combo. Because that actually looks really pretty. That looks pretty neat actually here. Actually, let me put this with that. There we go. I think that would be a pretty stunning. Oh, don't forget the gold too. The gold would be really pretty. So let me know what you guys think about that. So um, don't forget guys um, to obviously, I've said this a lot of times, you must scrape the bottom of your piece. If you don't, and I'm gonna fix that, don't you worry. If you don't, um, the colors will continue to pull the paint will continue to pull the paint from the top of the canvas and pull it off the sides which will then ruin your composition so i'm gonna fix that too um but yeah so don't forget to scrape the bottom of your canvas all the way around and then come back 10 15 minutes later and do it again because there will be more drips and then you'll see um, as time passes the drips will stop so there you have it with the studio lights on Oh, it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay. Um, let me show you guys with the studio lights off one second. All right, guys. And here we are with the studio lights off and check out that 24 karat gold shimmer. I love it. It's so pretty. Now, before I forget at the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys a little clip um, of my daughter, Sophia. She received a gift from um, one of my lovely viewers, Linda. And uh, she was playing with it and wanted to say thank you um, to Linda for the gift. And um, thank you to everyone who has, um, you know, had on, gone over to 
Lucas's YouTube channel with his model trains and has supported him and subscribe to his channel and leave um, awesome comments on his videos. You guys, it means a lot to me and it really means a lot to him. Um, he's doing his best now, he's back in school. He's still trying to work hard on getting videos out. Um, but to everyone who has gone onto their um, wish list on Amazon and has purchased something from them, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing. Um, and the kids couldn't be happier and more grateful. So thank you to everyone who has done that. Um, it, it really means a lot to me and it's very touching. So thank you for thinking of my children and um, being so generous. So thank you so much. Okay, so um, let me know what you guys think about this um, video and what you think about the colors in the comments below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, check out Juno and Echo's YouTube channel um, if you're interested in this piece. Again, it's a 15 by 30 inch piece um, and it is available for purchase. Please email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. And until next time, guys, um, I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget Crystal Resin um, discount code is Canela10 and um, Loli Veffy. All the squeeze bottles. Gotta love the bottles. I love these bottles, squeeze bottles, and of course, remember all the goodies I showed you that I got from Loli Veffy in my last video. Um, you can save 10% off Loli Veffy using code Canela10. Um, I use them. Look, there's my piece, my triptych that is drying from my client. It is drying perfectly. I am extremely thrilled, but as you can see, um, I use the Loli Veffy mats um, here on my drying rack, which are amazing. And when my new studio is done, I'm going to get a bunch more um, for my new tables from Adriana from Loli Veffy. So um, I'm super, super loving these on here. So uh, code Canela10 to save 10% off your Loli Veffy order. Uh, if you're interested in that, let me know. If you're interested in that, let me know. Um, this piece is dry. And I'm very excited how beautiful it looks. This piece is sold. Um, but if you're interested in anything else, let me know. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye. Tomato sauce making day. We've got the cutters over here. I'm cutting too. Cutters. Hi, Lucas. Are you helping? Jars are ready. The basil. That's an extra goop. Here's the good a lot of tomato juice here. almost done. It's been about an hour and a half cutting. 
So Sophia has a new gift from Linda. She wants to show everyone how it works. Woo! <laughs> you pull this back until uh -huh. you see the mark. You put it in because it's magnetic, so it stops the magnetic. And then there's a button, oops, on the side. You press it and she flips. Cool. What do you say to Linda? Thank you.